Credit default swaps are bilateral, over-the-counter agreements where the protection pays out if a specific bond defaults within a given time frame. They are used on single names and also over entire indices. Mechanics are simple. As a buyer of CDS, I am paying a fixed coupon by way of a premium to protect me against default of that bond. The more risk the bond, the higher the premium. The longer the CDS contract is for, the higher the premium also. Should the bond default, I receive the notional value of the bond I protected back and the contract ends. If there's no default, I gain nothing back, a bit like a conventional insurance contract. The seller of CDS would gain a premium for taking on default risk and thus hoping for no defaults in order to keep the premiums. If a default occurs, he will have to pay out the notional to the buyer. In this respect, a buyer is reducing credit risk while the seller is taking on credit risk and is compensated by the receipt of fixed coupons. A lot like buying a physical bond. Worth noting is the ability to buy protection even if we don't own the actual bonds. A way of reducing our credit risk. Unlike conventional insurance, where you would have to own the asset in order to insure it. So looking at our example, we see Verizon. If I want to gain exposure to Verizon bonds, I can either go and purchase the bonds or I can sell CDS on the company. We see on the slide the premium would receive would be 73 basis points per year for five years. If the company improves and this premium reduces in the market, we are effectively gaining more than the current price, hence profiting. Should spreads widen, we would be making a hypothetical loss against the market price just as if we were holding the physical bonds. If the bond defaults, we owe the notional of the bond, similar to holding a physically defaulted bond. Risk and return dynamics are very similar. Again, this is a cheaper, faster and more efficient way of gaining credit risk in a fund. Our screenshot shows us an index CDS. This is the US investment grade universe as a whole. It contains 125 of the most liquid North American entities. These have an average credit spread and thus combine to form an index of credit currently trading at 61 basis points. When credit conditions deteriorate, this number gets larger, reflecting a spread widening. When conditions improve, the number gets smaller, reflecting spread compression. The chart in the bottom left shows compression over time as the US investment grade space has improved over the last five months or so. Index CDS is available across the globe, targeting investment grade or high yield, in addition to some subsectors, such as senior or subordinated financials. CDS provides a liquid alternative to dealing in physical bonds and makes expressing a credit view or a view of credit deteriorating much more easily than going short actual cash bonds.